Lyric offers a wide variety of tools to help users write song lyrics and poetry. The first feature is a built-in syllable counter which takes the syllables in each line and sums them in the left-hand column. If a word is not in the dictionary, the counter will display the known syllables with a plus sign to indicate that it is more than the given value. If you write a line longer than the screen width, the counter will still sum them as though they were one line. Lyric also has a built-in rhyme matcher. This takes all rhyming words and makes them the same color. Notice how the words scroll, both poles, and both soles are all light green. If I enter another rhyming word like whole, it will also be matched in light green. The rhyme matcher is highly customizable. We can open these options by going to Lyric Features. Here we can choose to include near rhymes, which will match words that are close but not exact rhymes to one another. We can choose to only match the last words in each line. This can be beneficial aesthetically if the last words are the only ones you are attempting to rhyme. We can also choose words to ignore in rhyme matching. This can be helpful for common words like the, a, i, etc. You can also choose to add your own rhymes. This is useful when you know you can make two words rhyme by pronouncing them a certain way even if they are not actually rhymes, like heavy, already, and spaghetti. One of Lyric Notepad's most powerful tools are its built-in dictionary, rhyming dictionary, and thesaurus. Using the bottom toolbar, you can look up exact rhymes, near rhymes, synonyms, and definitions for any word. You can type this word in, or click the word to highlight it and have it automatically populate the search field. The results appear in a movable tab that can be expanded or minimized for easy reference. Lyric Notepad also has built-in shortcuts to change the appearance of your lyrics. You can add headings to any section by beginning the line with a plus sign. You can also bold words by surrounding it with exclamation marks, or italicize words by surrounding it with asterisks. The top toolbar has many powerful tools. The first icon will return you to the home screen where you can navigate between your lyrics. The second icon opens your lyrics built-in notes. Here you can write anything you need to remember pertaining to these lyrics. Maybe some alternative rhymes or verses. Or maybe you want to remember the time signature you want to use, or a narrative for later verses. Just like the word lookup results, your notes are accessed through a movable tab. These tabs can be opened simultaneously. Whichever tab you select will gain the foreground. A useful shortcut to move a hidden tab to the foreground is to click the note icon again to toggle its position. The next icon is the built-in recorder. This is an extremely powerful tool which lets you recite and record your lyrics, or simply remember your desired melody for a specific verse. To begin recording, select the recorder which appears in the top right corner. Click it again at any point to finish the recording. From here you can play, re-record, delete, or download your recording directly to your phone's download folder. An extremely useful feature is the ability to add your recordings at any point in your lyrics. When the recording screen is open, line numbers appear on the right-hand side. Enter the line you want to attach your recording to, and save to have a shortcut added directly to your lyrics. Click this shortcut at any time to play it. Click it again at any point to finish the recording. All saved lyrics can be accessed by clicking on the recorder icon again. From here we can open the same recording screen we saw earlier. However, now you can make copies of any recording as well. This is useful for lyric sections which are often repeated like the chorus. Next, we are going to switch to Lyric Notepad's measure mode. In this mode, we can break our lyrics up into individual measures. 
you will notice that the bottom toolbar now has different options. You can use this toolbar to add a new measure, delete a measure, randomize the words in a measure, and add sheet music to a measure. Adding a new measure will, by default, be empty. However, when adding a new measure, you can highlight a portion of your lyrics from the movable lyric tab to have it automatically populate your new measure. Notice that each quarter measure has its own syllable counter, making it easy to measure how much must be sung or recited for each section of your measure. To add sheet music to your measure, use the last item in the toolbar list. Now that the sheet music is selected, you can see that the bottom toolbar has again changed. In measure mode, which toolbar is displayed depends on whether the music or the lyrics of a measure are selected. To add notes, select the desired note length and note pitch from the toolbar lists. To help make selecting a pitch easier, users have both an image demonstrating its location in the sheet music and the ability to play each note. After selecting note length and pitch, select where you want to add the note in your sheet music. The available slots vary depending on the note length selected. To help those who may be new to reading and writing music, users will not be able to add notes which overlap with the length of another. By default, the pitches will be based on the treble cleft. To change the cleft, again go to Lyric Features and select the last option, Change Measure Cleft. Once a user has added notes to their measure, you will notice that the bottom toolbar now has two new options, Play Measure Notes and Delete Measure Notes. Play Measure Notes will play all the notes in the selected measure, and Delete Measure Notes will remove the sheet music without removing the measure itself. The last tool is the metronome which is the third icon from the right in the top toolbar. The metronome is a valuable tool that is heavily integrated with the other features of this application. The metronome lets you set your beats per minute and your time signature. For this demo, we are using a section of Simon and Garfunkel's song, The Sound of Silence, which plays at 108 beats per minute and has a 4-4 time signature. With none of the options selected, the metronome will simply play a tone for each beat with a different tone on the specified accent, which in this case is the first beat out of every four. To stop the metronome, we just click the metronome icon again at any time. By selecting Sync with Background, the metronome will also pulse the background for each beat, pulsing a different color on the accent. Other features available, only in measure mode, are the ability to sync with your measures, ability to play your measures notes in place of the metronome beat, and the option to have your measures automatically scroll along with the metronome. This last option makes it possible to practice hands-free or with an instrument. Now let's see them all work together. Users can also expand their workspace and hide the toolbars by clicking on the arrows in the left corners. Users can also undo and redo the most recent change to their lyrics by clicking the undo icon in the bottom right corner. To back up or export your lyrics, click on the settings icon on the far right of the top toolbar and select Backup and Export. Click the Backup icon to back up your lyrics and settings to the Google Play Store. If uninstalling and reinstalling, or switching to a new device, this will restore your last backup as long as you use the same Google account. Click the Export icon to export your currently open lyrics to any applicable application, like Google Drive, email, etc. 
To access the Lyric Notepad's general settings, click on the Settings icon and select the second option. Here, you can increase and decrease the font size. You can change the update weight, which is helpful if you are using a slide keyboard or want to turn off the syllable counter and rhyme matcher. You can change the orientation between portrait and landscape. Turn on night mode. And you can change the color theme of the application. And last but not least, to save your work, click on the settings icon and select the first option. If you ever forget to save, Lyric Notepad will prompt you to save when you try to leave, and also restore your work if you make changes without saving them. Additionally, Lyric Notepad automatically keeps your last five saves. This way you can revert to a previous save if you ever change your mind. These five saves can also be opened as a new Lyric at any time from the home screen by clicking the icon in the top right corner. Clicking on an old save here gives a preview of that save's lyrics, making it easier to open the correct save.